Rulers are used to measure some sort of distance, like length, width, or height. But rulers can only measure in straight lines. So here we have a tissue box. To measure the length, line up the zero mark of the ruler with the edge of the box. Notice there's no zero, but if there's one, then this is smaller, so this is the zero edge. I line the zero edge up with this side of the tissue box. And then I'm going to look to see where it crosses the other part of the ruler. Each large line on this ruler is a centimeter. So 21 centimeters, 22 centimeters. So now that I have it lined up, I'm going to see where the edge crosses the ruler, right, right here. So it's more than 22, but less than 23. So each of these teeny tiny little lines is a millimeter or point something of a centimeter. So it is crossing at 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and a half. We're gonna go ahead and round up to 22.3 centimeters. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Remember the big numbers are centimeters. The teeny teeny little lines are millimeters because they're smaller. Milli is a smaller unit. So this tissue box is 22.3 centimeters long. We say centimeters and centimeters is the preferred unit for something like a tissue box because it sounds more accurate. Um, 22.3 is the same as 223 millimeters, but 223 makes it sound like it's a lot larger than it is. So 22.3 just sounds more accurate, so that's why it's preferred. If we were measuring something small like the head of an eraser or the width of one of these teeny tiny little dots, then millimeters would be an appropriate unit for that because see how tiny it is? But since we're doing something so large like a tissue box, centimeters is a preferred unit.